हेलो गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स दे आर मोस्ट वेलकम टू क्लास टेंथ इंग्लिश क्लास लेट अस स्टार्ट अ पोएम टुडे आई विल स्टार्ट दैट पोएम अबाउट होम यू रेड लास्ट ईयर कैन यू टेल मी हु इज दैट पोएट द रोड नॉट टेकन हु इज रिटन यस रोबर्ट फ्रॉस्ट सो द पोएम डिस्क्राइब फॉर यू इज डॉस ऑफ स्नो Dust of snow. As you know, Robert Frost was a 19th century American poet, poet of nature. He writes subjective poems like that of William Wordsworth. William Wordsworth has written that is the daffodils, the solitary bird, Lucy Gray. So he has described about his own experience. That is called a subjective poem. Here also, Robert Frost writes. About his experience, you see his poems of nature. One is a mending well, M E N D I N G, mending well. Second is stopping by woods on a snowy evening. The road not taken, the road not taken. Road, it is the literal meaning is just a road, but symbolical, metaphorical meaning is road stands for the two alternative choices of a person. So. we will read this poem the the dust of snow the poet is standing under a tree and it was there was snow fall now listen to the poem yes Transfer poisonous tree. Ill omen. 
what happened dust of snow where did the dust of snow fall so in the first stanza the poet depicts how he felt depressed disappointed unhappy gloomy <coughs> very sad depressed because he thought that the whole day was a waste but the poet's mood changed in the second stanza has given my heart a change of a mood so the sitting of a tree is just an ordinary phenomenon the poet took it seriously but this incident sitting of a that uh, crow on the hemlock tree and falling of a dust of a snow on the poet the uh, thought that it was ill omen the day was wasted very gloomy cheerless depressed all the negative thoughts and ideas did come to his mind but whenever you come to the second stanza as this incident has given his heart he felt delighted to gladden his spirits a change of a mood his mood got changed and saved some part of a day i had lived the meaning of lived is there in your test book lived means he had in the regret so here the regret is replaced by happiness or satisfaction so dust of snow it's a small part of two trophies of four lines each four lines each two stanzas each stanza has four lines the poem is set on a wintry day in the first stanza the poet describes describes the nature it was snowing all around very cold winter season the poet is standing on a tree and all of a sudden a crow came and perched on the helm of tree top of the tree the sudden movement of the crow made the dust fell on him fell on the poet frost so the arrival of a crow and it's sitting on the hemlock tree it is just an ordinary happening but the poet took it very seriously the crow stands for ill omen the hemlock tree is a poisonous tree crow is the uh, messenger of death destruction unhappiness fear gloomy dull devastation destruction so the poet felt depressed unhappy and disheartened disappointed gloomy the whole day was wasted but in the second stanza the poet's mood changed the uh, it gladdens his heart his spirits are uplifted the whole day has not been wasted he realizes that at least some part of the day has been spent happily so in the end satisfaction happiness replaced the regret which he had experienced in the first stanza now let us come to the literary devices number one is symbolism crow metaphorical meaning crow that is illumination you know there is a description of happiness sadness and so on and number three also sanity then one is symbolism second is irony just the opposite irony you know just the opposite so in william shakespeare's play julius caesar you know that julius caesar was assassinated by the senator marcus brutus another senator mark antony in the funeral speech he addressed the audience the romans and said that those who assassinated julius caesar they were a gentleman but it is irony because <clears throat> those who killed or assassinated julius caesar they can't be gentlemen they can't be honorable men rather they were murderers they were the criminals so only the people can understand that here uh, mark antony uses irony here also irony because in the first stanza gloomy cheerless disheartened but in the second stanza mood changed he realized that as it the whole day was not wasted so that he got happy happiness is replaced by his 
regrets. This is about irony. Then come to alliteration. Alliteration is also there. Here he had uh, has given my heart. Okay. H her sound and also heart. Her sound. How do you write it? Like this. Sound is represented by this. So alliteration is used in the first line of second stanza. Okay, let us come to the rhyme scheme. You know how is the rhyme scheme is determined? First line ends with a crow, second line may, third line is snow, and the fourth line tree. So crow, snow. So it will be a and snow will be a. Okay, me will be b and hello tree will be b. Me, tree, crow, snow. And uh, here come to the second stanza then heart. Heart will be and uh, that uh, A B A B. So it will be C mood D part C root D. Okay. That the heart part mood root. So if in the exam, if this one of the stanzas will become whole poem is not asked. For example, first answer. You will write the rhyme scheme is uh, what will you write? Rhyme scheme A B A B. Second stanza, if second stanza comes, don't write simplicity because only this stanza will be there in your question paper. So you have to write only C D C D. But if the question is asked, what is the rhyme scheme? If this second stanza is asked, you will write also. A B, A B. If first stanza comes, you will write A B A B. If second stanza comes, you will write A B A B. If the whole, if the question is asked, what is the rhyme scheme used in the poem? You then you will write A B A B C D C D C D C D. Okay. Thank you.